Hello and welcome to my channel Crafting with Shutter Monkey. I'm Amanda, also known as Shutter Monkey, and today I'm going to give you a tour around my craft room. Now this is where you normally see me standing in my podcast episodes, so let me show you around my room. As you can see, I've got a lot of Billy bookcases from IKEA to store all my crafting, my crafting things. They're all the half and half doors, so it's the glass at the top and the panels at the bottom. And I've got my old Singer sewing table here, it's a treadle machine with my sewing machine on it and that leads out into the garden, the doors lead outside. And this is where I sit and do all my computer work. I'm just going to put this to sleep. This is where I do all my video editing and all my pattern writing. And this is one area of the room that I would like to change about quite soon because I'm finding it quite uncomfortable to sit at the computer on this high chair. It gives me a bit of pain in the back of my legs. So I think this unit here is going to be leaving, it's going to be moving out and I'll get a proper computer table with a proper chair. So, come on, I'll show you where my craft room is situated within my house. And just before we go, I'm going to show you this advent calendar. This is the 2023 advent calendar by Beehive Yarns and the theme was Patisserie. And it's still all hanging together because I love looking at it, but I don't think I've showed it to you guys yet, have I? Right, follow me this way and I'll show you a wee bit of the rest of the house. I'll just open this door. So down the hall here is the kitchen. And I have the living room in this way. So my craft room is on the main living room floor of the house. And this house is quite unusual because although this is the main living room floor, the front door is down the stairs. My house is built into a slope, so it's quite it's over quite a few levels. So though we're on a ground floor just now, the front door is actually down a level and my bedroom is up a floor as well. You can just see my bedroom from here too, on the mezzanine floor. So let me take you back into the craft room. And I'll start showing you around my room. So let's start behind my door, okay? And we'll start in this corner here. So it's just a couple of shelves up here with my cool crafting, a couple of my cool crafting makes and a sewing box, a Kath Kidston sewing box with some bits and bobs in it. And down below, it's just some, it's all a cake stand and just some yarn storage here and a, a quilt ladder behind my door. Let's show you inside the first cupboard. So this is cupboard number one. I have six of these cupboards in my room. Um, this one is a mishmash of lots of different crafting items and supplies. Up the top here, this is all sock whips. And there's a couple of blanket whips here. Um, there's the safe space blanket. Project that I'm still working on. And the triangulum blanket. Some more sock whips in this shelf, um, just some books. And this is a crochet cardigan that I started, you'll have seen this in one of my episodes. And down here, it's um, sock whips that are waiting to be finished. They're either waiting to be blocked and have the ends woven in or just photographed. And just some sewing knickknacks, more sock whips, um, some toft projects in here. I think that's my toft birds. And I have some journaling supplies in this one here. And it's just my ball winder and my swift down at the bottom. So as I say, it's a bit of a mishmash of items in here. It's things that have nowhere else to live. And cupboard number two. This is my crochet cupboard. It's supposed to be all my crochet things that are in this cupboard. So at the top I've got a couple of blanket whips up here 
and just some yarn storage, just some cotton yarn and some more yarn storage. These, these wee tubs here are all toft kits. They haven't been started yet. They're all flowers, toft flowers. I did start the peony. I need to finish that. These two shelves here are all toft whips. And if you look back at my crochet whip video, you'll be able to see what's in those baskets there. And down below, it's um, some yarn storage and just some toff stuffing and my crochet books right down the bottom. And let's move on to cupboard number three. This is the shelving area that you normally see in my post podcast episodes. Some toff dinosaurs at the top, just a wee Liberty sewing box. This is actually as well a little sewing case that I made myself. It's made from canvas work and I'm quite proud of that. Um, more cool crafting toys. These ones actually have their clothes as well. And inside the cupboards, it's where I keep all my camera, all my photography and my video and equipment. So my lights and my microphone and the camera that I'm using just now usually sit here and all my chargers are here. And it's just books at the bottom. And cupboard number four. This is my knitting cupboard. Now I know I have yarn in the crochet cupboard, but the crochet cupboard is crocheting yarn. It's mostly cottons or toft yarns that I do use for crochet. This one is all for knitting. So at the top here, I have a lot of Rainbow Chronicle yarns by Lee Family, by Lee Family Yarns. This was the first time they dyed it and I was making a blanket with that. And I've still to use up these leftovers and this is all from the second time they dyed the Rainbow Chronicles yarn. This is the Biff Sugar Yarns minis that I'm using in my Triangulum blanket. These are just some full skeins of yarn. This is all Henny Penny makes in here. That's what I'm using to make my safe space blanket. And I haven't used any of these ones yet. It's Castle View Yarns. Just some more minis and some Surrey Opaca and some full skeins. And then down below we have some more mini skeins. And this is my Commercial Sock Yarns in here. And what else do we have? Oh, some West Yorkshire spinners. That's all my Christmas colourways. And then it's my knitting books down the bottom. Now, just before we move on to cupboard number five, I'm going to move this out of the way. <laughs> move my yarn. And moving on to cupboard number five. This is my patchwork and quilting cupboard. So I've got lots of fabrics stored in boxes. I usually store them by collection as well. This one up the top is all Halloween fabrics. And some Christmas fabrics in here. And some more Halloween actually. This one here is Christmas too. This is all my Liberty fabrics, that, that box there. And it's Essex Jam dyed linen in here. And some neutrals in there. Dashwood Studios. And these two rows here are all Anila Hoey fabrics. I have got fabric from every one of Anila's collections. I really should use them up because it's a shame that they're just being stored in boxes. They would make beautiful quilts, wouldn't they? But I've got some from, this is eight different boxes here and it is all Anila Hoey. Some from all your collections. And I keep all my fabrics in these wee boxes as, lo as well as my yarn because I like to keep the creepy crawlies out. Down below, in the bottom half of this cupboard, I have some blocks of the month kits here. So these are all things that I've bought. To, it's the full, quilt, the full kit here to make a full quilt. And in this shelf here, I have my smitten quilt. And this is just some of the hexagons that I've made so far. This is all Tasha Noel fabric. It's by Riley, Riley Blake make this fabric. But the designer is Tasha Noel. More quilt kits down below and right at the bottom here I have some jelly roll fabric and my patchwork and quilting books. And moving on to the final cupboard, this is cupboard number six and this again is a mishmash cupboard, it's just the stuff that didn't have a cupboard of its own. So just get some beads at the top that I, I like to add to knitting sometimes, so I've got all my beads stored up here. This is actually a finished blanket and a finished cushion. Some project storage, 
my gingerbread houses. I do love gingerbread houses. I have just a ceramic version. This is actually a machine embroidered version that I made myself and my Lego, my Lego version too. And this is my first sewing machine that I bought. It wasn't very expensive, but it really did. It did, it did its job and I still keep it in this cupboard. Um, some toft birds here. Patricia Cornwell books because I love Patricia Cornwell books and just some general storage. Um, I think it's Egyptology books that are all along the bottom from when I used to do my classes. And that's cupboard number six. This table here, this is my vintage um, Singer treadle table. It does have the sewing machine inside. I don't have the treadle wire hooked up, so the treadle base doesn't actually work the sewing machine just now, and I just use it as my sewing table. But I had to paint it white because it was just too, it was just too badly gone that I couldn't restore it. So it was painted and I painted the base pink with a little gold lettering. I love this table, but this is just where my sewing machine lives and this is where I sit to sew if it's not on the main island. And my little pink trolley over here is full of more whips. So at the top, I have my Pohi Locatelli, my lace and fade boxy, which I'm still working on. I have a box that I made at a fabric box making class. I've just to stitch the inside down. Oh, there's yarn in there. And some more sock whips and mitten whips down below. And at the bottom, it's just the wire from my sewing machine and a couple of crochet projects. And I keep my smaller cutting boards in here too. So hanging here in the middle of my doors, I have a, a marionette puppet. I bought this little princess while I was in Prague many, many years ago. And I, I do still have her on display in my craft room. I have my threads up here and some a hydrangea from my garden. I actually, this was one of the first hydrangea flowers that I, that I grew and I dried it out and hung it in here. This is just some pictures that my grandsons have drawn for me. They're both, I think they're both about a couple of years old. Yeah, that one was April last year, it's dated. Up the top here is some canvas work. I went to a class to do that. This is some needle felting from a needle felting class and just some random old, um, it's bobbins of thread that I find in charity shops. I put, I've popped them in here with my Lego figures. So let's have a look along the top of the cupboards. I'll give you a wee look up there. So up the top of this first cupboard, it's mostly my Christmas knits. So my gingerbread house, my Santa, my snowman. I think I've got a nutcracker and a snow queen too. And then we move on to my collection of Halloween houses. Most of these are bought, but this one here I made myself, that's machine embroidered, the same as my gingerbread house. And then we've got some more knitted toys here. Some Halloween, it's a Halloween witch and a little red riding hood. And if I take this out the way, you'll be able to see my jigsaw up there, my Disney villain jigsaw. I'm quite proud of this jigsaw. My husband and I made this together one Christmas. And then the tops of these cupboards around the corner, we have some knitted cushions. I've got Kevin up there, you know Kevin, you've seen him in my podcasts. And a couple of Toff toys. And a couple of these storage baskets at the end. So this is the chair that I normally sit at when I'm doing all my video editing and my pattern writing. And these wee shelves behind me, they have just got some Toff makes along the top. And mostly the bottom is Toff makes as well, apart from a little troll at the end. He's actually a pattern by Alan Dart. I love Alan's patterns. Um, these wee flowers here in the hexagon frame, these are the flowers. Uh, ju just before we get put into our first lockdown, um, my garden had just been finished and I was spent a lot of time in the garden growing flowers. So these are some of the first flowers that I managed to grow on my own and I pressed them and put them into that wee frame. And I'll show you maybe in some of these cupboards here. Oh, what about up the top? Do you want to see my Disney castle? I love that. I got that for my birthday a few years ago and had a lot of fun building that. Next to my Disney castle, it's my Evil Queen doll. I love her. I'm patiently waiting for Disney to re-release the Maleficent doll so that I can, I can get her too. 
and let me show you inside a couple of these cupboards. Slide that chair out of the way. So what have we got in here? Paperwork and some more storage. This is actually a cushion that I bought while I was in Liberty in London and I'll show you in a minute, it's living under my table. And what else do we have? This is all my cool crafting kits in here and my overlocker that I've used once. Some more storage. This is all the stuffing for the cool crafting toys and the ones that I've still to make. And this is advent projects in here, some advent yam that hasn't been started yet. And the very bottom, more storage boxes. And this is all my, my crafting bags. All the ones that I've either made myself or bought. I keep those in here. And on the back of the chair, this is some quilting whips. I know I've got more than the ladder over there, but I'm just, I've just to hand stitch the binding down in this quilt. There's another Halloween quilt waiting to be layered up and quilted. That was a random house block, I don't need that. And just some more quilting projects in here that are waiting to be worked on. So let's move underneath the island that I have in the centre of my room. And under here I have a little table with my Toft projects on it. So this is my Toft Advent that I've been working on and some Toft toadstools that are waiting to be finished. And there's just another couple of kits under here with the stuffing for my toadstools. And this thing here at the back, the frame that you can just about see, that's my cushion that I started, my Tapestry Liberty cushion. It's tucked away in there. And next to this table, I have a couple of pink storage boxes, well, pink lidded boxes, I should say. Now this one here, the one at the top, it's all cardigan pieces. I was planning on filming some tutorials, um, knitting tutorials, how to finish off garments and seam up. That's what they're for. And down the bottom, it's all Anila Hoey project bags. Some more socks that are waiting to be finished as well. So this, this tabletop that I'm sitting at just now, this is actually a kitchen island. When we done up the kitchen a couple of years ago, it was too good to throw out so it got moved into my craft room because it's just a great surface for standing at and for cutting fabrics and just for working at. I can even put my sewing machine on here and I can sew standing up, which is great. And I'll maybe show you, I've got one more thing to show you underneath the, the island that I've got in here and it's this storage tower and it's all quilting projects that are in here so each drawer is a different quilting project some Halloween stuff in there that's to be finished off oh, I've even got a little beaded project in here this is some little tiny tiny foundation pieced blocks that I was working on and a Halloween quilt that I really should work on and some more kits and rainbow fabric in here oh that one's lovely this one's actually been made I just have to finish it off and put some embroidery on and the last one there's another wee smitten block in there and it's fabric to make a quilt from this book. And the final thing I have to show you today is inside the drawers and the cupboards of the island. So this is the top drawer and it is full of lots of knickknacks, scissors and pins and stitch markers, pin cushions, <laughs> you name it this is where it comes to live. I think this could be doing with a bit of a clean out. And the next drawer down is a lot of whips. We have sock whips, scarf whips, mitten whips, lots of hexagons that I've made with Henny Penny Makes yarns. More socks. Finished socks, actually. A hat that's waiting to have the ends woven in. Sorry, I had to cut there. Cameraman couldn't stop laughing. And moving down, 
more whip storage. This here is the little box of crochet um, Santa and this here is just it's just more storage projects, patterns that I would either have knitted or I would like to knit some leftover yarn for projects that I've already made and this is where I think this is the tidiest drawer of the lot this is where my needles and my crochet hooks this is where some of them live and I've got my wool mat in here as well still in the plastic and inside the cupboards there's not actually that much inside the cupboards it's a couple of tins and a plug for my laptop Halloween box. This is all my fusible interfacings and fleeces and that kind of stuff for sewing and I've got my wadding at the bottom and my toy stuffing as well. Well that is all I have to show you in my craft room. I think I've showed you in every cupboard and in every drawer and if there was anything else you would like to see in more detail just leave me a wee comment below and I can film that in the future at some point. Thank you for following me around my craft room and joining me on this little craft room tour and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.